Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, a lot of people were asking me, I didn't think about it, but um, when I talked about the $30 for one year price of the upgrade uh, security updates for uh, extended for Windows 10, um, of course it's in US dollars that that pricing came out. Um, what will it be in your currency? Well, it depends on the exchange rate probably uh, pretty much. If I look at, um, you know, I have Office 365 subscription and I have a um, Xbox um, Game Pass also subscription, uh, prices are roughly the exchange rate, not even, uh, maybe even a little less. So it's uh, it did definitely is going to be a, a depending on your currency, so... Um, it just go online and look at uh, the cur currency exchanges on on some websites where you can actually enter an amount of U.S. dollars. You can really enter thirty U.S. dollars and check what it comes out to your um, currency. So yeah, thirty U.S. dollars will probably be here. For example, in Canada, something like forty forty five dollars. Um, so that will probably play, um, you know, do a, a little difference between countries um, as that will vary uh, depending on the currency you use. And uh, it also, once again, I will repeat it because uh, some people have been talking about it, you know, double or whatever, go exponential after one year like the other, um, you know, the, the, the uh, business side. Um, I it doesn't seem so because it would seem that Microsoft is giving only one year. Is I, I it's a catch. There's not going to be three years. There's going to be only one. And uh, once again, like I said in the last video, if you are um, want to use your Windows 10 longer, then there will be an option in a company called Zero Patch that will also uh, charge, but will be good up to at least 2030, as they say. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.